so hi everyone today i am discussing about how to insert records by using the bad job from mulesoft to the salesforce so firstly we should create a project so for that we should go for files and click new and in that new project give a project name and click finish so after creating the project it displays the mule paddle so in this mule paddle add the models so i need a sales force so i'm adding into this project and click add and i need also file i'm adding into this go to the sales force and search for batch so after the batch I am selecting for the new or update file. So I am drag and dropping this into the source. So okay. Firstly I am going to the connector configuration. We should click add button. So here first I am not giving any of a path and I am clicking ok. So go to the general and in general directory give the empty path and then select the folder and go to down in scheduling strategy give the fixed frequency in frequency take as a 10 seconds so it should be auto delete after the 10 seconds so it's completed here yeah. Go to the core, select the transform message, drag and drop this transform message after the file. So this contains all the records in the payload. Go to the salesforce and search for create. Take this create into the processor. So click add in a connector configuration. So now I am giving a username and security token and password. So after click test connection, if this connection is successful, we will, we will move for further. So the test connection is successful. OK click. Search for contacts. in the type so here it was contact select this contact and ok go for core and select the transform misses in front of the create so here you should define the payload and click add type give a type name and select a csv it should be an example definer and select the file open 
so it gives the fields and select okay so give first name to first name and last name to last name phone to phone to phone and email to email email to email okay the mapping is completed and again we will take this transform message and it was after the create so I am taking as a JSON because it converts the string into an object and giving the output as a payload And I'm taking this logger after the transform message and I'm giving the message as a payload to display all the records here it gives ID and item if it was success means it gives a true or if it is a failure means it gives a fail false in on complete I'm giving logger to display the message as job is completed so here these on complete is it just hold the bad job results so it inform or it capture the number of failures and the processed records in here okay go to the salesforce and here we are searching about batch aggregator and drag and drop into the aggregator so you should drag here these salesforce create to in batch aggregator and these transform message to and logger to so here the aggregator size must you should give and i am giving as a 200 because these records in my csv file records has thousands of records so that's why I'm giving 200. So yeah, I'm saving and I'm running this. Hello. Before that, we go for the Salesforce. This is my Salesforce contacts. So here are 19 records and here I am going to select my CSV file. I am copying that and I am opening the path empty path which I was given in the directory. So here it was initializing and it was running.
so it was deployed so we go to the file which was empty and I am giving these pasting these CSV file here and it should be delete after the 10 seconds so it was deleted and we go to the salesforce and we check whether it was inserted or not